And uh, it was Jericho and Sammy versus Big Bill and Ricky, AW Tag Team Title Street Fight. They went like 20 minutes, and it was, in fact, a street fight. They fought on the street. They did. They brawled outside the building. They fought all over the place. And apparently there were, like, a lot of restrictions about what they could and could not do. Like it was, uh, I guess it was a commission state. So you know how those commission states are? You know, you can't bleed, and they don't want you in the crowd, and they really didn't want them on the street. So if you watch the match, it's like, well, they were on the street, and they were in the crowd. But actually, they weren't. They were, like, in a in a cordoned-off area outside. Although there was one point where they did the suplex on that car, and then they they said that it was... Uh, Brett Titus. Brett Titus's car. That yeah. poor guy. And he was there. Yeah, and he shows up. What happened to my... Hey, that's my car, dude. Where's my? What's his? What's the? What's that stupid movie? Dude, where's my car? Dude, yeah. where's my car? Now well, they said, dude, that's my car. Yeah, and they beat him up. Jericho, and Jericho beat him up. Elbow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they brawl in the building, and then you know when they when they brawl into the crowd, it's not really the crowd. It's like that that area that is you know blocked off for production and everything like that. Yeah. So it's very clever what they figured out what they were able to do despite not being able to do anything, which actually reminds me there was another match like that. There was like a. Um, I can't remember what it was, but it was like uh, uh, maybe an anarchy in the arena or something like that. It was sometime. It was it was at some point last year. Maybe someone can remember what the match was, but uh, you know it was one of those wild Moxley brawls everywhere. But it was the same deal. The commission was like, "You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this." When they somehow managed to do everything they wanted to do in some weird way, except for the blood. So anyway, this was a great match. It was great and it was funny because when they started off in the pure outside, there was a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of violent stuff. They had the you mentioned the, the the suplex onto the car, that looked so awful. By the way, like the, mm-hmm. the, the edge of the windshield of the car hit Big Bill right in the small of the back. He's back arch laying over the ruined car. You had Big Bill pulling shoot when they started brawling. Big Bill was wearing a backpack. I was hoping and praying he'd do the entire match wearing a backpack. Sadly, he did not. <laughs> but he did take off the backpack and reveal there were bricks in there. And it chucked them at Sammy. And Sammy dodged. And the bricks went through a go- the, the car window. And if Sammy had not dodged, we're in a very bad story. Did you mention Jericho getting choked them into a pile of leaves? Yeah, they had a crash pad with leaves or something <laughs> on it. I certainly yeah. hope it was a crash pad. I think there was. And he got um, choke slammed onto that. If you look at this, the, the, the Jericho actually falls farther than Big Bill's feet were. Big Bill standing up and chokes them Jericho down into a pit where the leaves were. Yes. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it was a crash pad or something in there. Uh, I mean, he bounced, so okay. it must yeah. have been something. There was not the only crash pad in the, the match. The leaves fl- flying up into the air and then slowly drifting back down was comical to me. Of course. It was awesome. <laughs> so they've disposed of Jericho by chokes them him into leaves. And they're walking around and Bill's got his backpack. Sammy's got his purple rain t-shirt on. And they can't find Sammy. And then there's headlights down the alley. And at a mind-bending speed of like 26 miles an hour, out comes Sammy on the golf cart. And these two bozos are so scared, they can't even step to the side. They must stand there right in the way so he can hit both of them. It was so silly, but so awesome. The irony is because the first one of the first things Sammy ever did in this company was get run over by a go-kart. Yes, the, the, the first stadium <laughs> stampede match. That was yeah. much scarier than this. But the did... Now, did uh, Ricky Starks actually get hurt for a minute? Was he actually hurt? Or I don't was know. It was just... weird. He gets hit by the golf cart. It looked like he hit him in the elbow. Mm. And so, but he's grabbing his balls. Mm. So I, I don't know what happened. Maybe, uh, maybe Dustin got him. I, I thought he was. Wor- I thought he was grabbing his like right knee. But you might so everyone right. thought he was grabbing something different. Well, he ended up fine, and nobody got hurt. So all right, he was fine. So they're doing all this dangerous stuff. Then they go inside the building with the hallways and the concession area, and now it's the Three Stooges. Mm-hmm. There was a plunger to the face, a polar bear to the ass, a Swiffer to the face. Jericho photocopied his face. <laughs> he photocopied Starks' face. The Ed and Sandy... He should have photocopied his ass. Wasn't that the old thing people used to do on those photocopy machines? There's a... There's a Christmas parties, yes. There's a story, yes. Is Scrooge where that happens? There's an 80s movie with that. Anyway. Uh, the Ed and San Antonio tribute traffic cone on the head. They're fighting through catering. We got a commercial break. And they're using mustard on each other. And Sammy did a run up the wall backflip yeah, in, in, the, in the halls. That was <laughs> this awesome. Parkour spot in the middle of this comedy. Mustard is sprayed on each other. Empty water jugs are thrown at each other. There's Singapore canes just lying around the hallway. 
Finally, they go into the arena portion where the fans can see them. And they had... I don't know who thought of this finish, but this is genius. Jericho sets up a table. And he climbs up on top of a high thing. Production what was that? Crazy. What was that high thing doing there? Whatever they called it. Come on. What was that doing there? I don't know. It, it honestly looked like a chair was on top of this thing. But he and Bill are brawling up there. And before either of them can hit a move, Takesha flies in out of nowhere and canes Jericho in the head. And Bill grabs Jericho and he hoists him to the sky and is a falling powerbomb off the high thing through the pad that is next to the table Jericho had set up. Oh, that's genius. That is fiendishly clever. Mm -hmm. So they had this one thing all prepped and gimmicked ready to go, but they set up a table next to it to make you think he was going through an unprepped table. Uh, then, as that's going on, <laughs> Starks and Sammy are probably on the stage, and Sammy gets up on that lighting rig, and he climbs, and he climbs, and he climbs, and there have been a few higher bumps than this, mostly by Shane McMahon, but he mm -hmm. fell a long, long, long way, and as he's falling, Hobbs, powerhouse Hobbs, has time to run out, grab Ricky Starks, and pull him out of the way. He Sammy was in San Francisco when Sammy jumped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And made it all the way time to time to yank him out of the way. Yeah, yeah. And, Is uh, that what happened? Did he actually pull him out of the way? Because I didn't see that. You were watching the wrong guy. Of course, Hobbs pulled him out of the way. Craig's so sick. Sure, he did. Anyway, uh, Sammy goes to the stage. Starks pins him. That was all fucking nuts. It was nuts, and it was quite great. And on Wednesday, they did that brawl. Remember, they did the brawl, and they played Jericho's music the entire time. And people yeah. were like, oh, they do I drown out the booze or whatever. Well, they, uh, they didn't play the music the whole time here, and they did enter the building, and for a brief period, probably 5% of the people did boo for a second. They were scattered boos. But that, that was it. It was, uh, you know, they cheered like crazy for this match. They went nuts for it. And honestly, the only negative is that it basically killed the rest of the show. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it did. Julia Hart and Anna Jay had Ugh. no chance. Yeah. And honestly... Orange Cassidy and Preston Vance should have had no chance, but Orange is like, he'll get any match over. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, he managed to get the crowd back by the very end, which was quite impressive, given his opponent was Preston Vance. Yeah. Here on Battle of the Belts. Yeah. Orange sold the knee, which is, he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked Matt Menard on said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's probably ROH. Are you smoking or what's happening what? here? I don't, what the fuck? What is, is going happening? On? I have no Bro. Clue. What is this? Dude. I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need <laughs> right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God. I, I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah. I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the hell's flashing? I don't know, man. Yeah, I everyone's saying, this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh, my God. Maybe I you open them. What is... There we go. The sun moved? Well, uh, yeah, the sun... Actually, the... No! Early... Oh. <laughs> okay. The sun will continue to move, <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. <laughs> We then had uh, Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.